Hello everybody, my name is Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, the modern day Italian campaign featuring the Millennium Dawn mod. In the last episode, we got our war justification done with Libya, and we launched our initial invasions. We did a naval invasion here in Tripoli, uh, backed it up with my primary uh, Pronto, main force here. And then once we had the Libyans distracted by this incursion, we dropped paratroopers on Benghazi and only had a single enemy division guarding that region. So that was a fairly successful strategy. So we're going to try and break out from the Benghazi beachhead. I'll try to push toward Tobruk and uh, then hopefully knock Libya out of the fight. So that is the plan. Now, um, after the episode, and I had someone actually comment to remind me, or to make me aware of this, is that I didn't quite get my air, um, my air squadron set up correctly. I assigned them to zones, but didn't actually give them any missions, because they changed the air interface a little bit, and so I didn't quite know where the, uh, the missions uh, settings were so if you actually click on the wing the missions buttons are up here I just completely didn't even notice that so yeah, I've got these guys set on air superiority. I've got these guys set up on uh, close support these guys on air superiority uh, close support uh, The transports don't really need anything and these guys are going to do strategic bombing So once we unpause it we should see the air uh, look better so if we Pause it. There we go. So now I got our fighters up. We got our bombers up. We got everything up. So yeah, there we are. All right, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these divisions, and I'm gonna order them to just march along the coast. Alright, improve CIM software. Uh, I guess we're going to continue working on our industrial stuff. Uh, basic 3D manufacturing. We're short some aluminum and some tungsten. Oh, we have some free dockyards. Okay, let's take care of that. Uh, what do we want to do? Let's go with some Corvettes. Let's see, making pretty good headway here. Pronto. Uh, somebody actually get in there and take that airfield. Okay, so what have we done? A friendly planes disrupted. Damage done, enemy divisions, enemy buildings bombed, none. Just gotta kinda get used to this new interface and let's see if I turn all this off and just say Military excesses. Try this a few times. Same old display of military insubordination. We'll purge them. Oh, we got 13 enemy divisions cut off here. Uh, everybody attack them. They're completely cut off. Destroyer's focus. Alright, Tobruk has been captured. Ordini. Tell these guys to push south. Actually, can you new just. Avanti. Hold off your attack and move south. 
Forza, forza, forza! Hope that that will be enough. Let's see. Is was it enough? Hundred percent. Yep. As soon as the day ends, there we are. And we are going to say take all states and be done. We annexed eighty four hundred equipment. Does it tell us exactly what we seized? We fielded almost 300,000 men. We lost 15,000. They fielded... Okay, that doesn't quite make sense, but uh, that's all right. All right, so now we need to rearrange things here a little bit. We're going to bring... The Marines. Bring them back to Tripoli. The paratroopers. Bring them back to Benghazi. Because we're going to have a bit of supply problem. That's... And let's bring the main army also back to Tripoli as well. Alright. So, now we need to pick a new national focus, and we actually... How much? We have 10% world tension. Very nice. So... We want to actually take the, the Abandoned the West, because that's what we needed world tension for. And we just bypassed it, because... So, you know, do we need world tension for this? No. And that should allow me to take the Towards Monarchy. Which we don't really need anymore. Okay, I guess we'll continue to get the Destroyers. Modify the government. Can I change my export stuff? Maybe I don't want to change that just yet. Material designer, motorization company, imagery equipment. Uh, I guess we'll go with the small arms company. Yep, unassigned divisions. Okay, yeah, you go there. You are assigned there. Got us 25 army experience. That's not a ton. All right. Let's bring the para, uh, paratroopers back. Let's bring the marines back. Bring them back to Naples. Modern offshore drilling. Get the improved construction tools. All right, do we want to keep the main army here? Actually, I think I'm going to move everybody back to Sicily. Pronto, signore. And you can come down there as well. And we no longer need... We 
Now, can I remove their assignment? I can turn off their missions because they don't need to actually fly any missions anymore. Fire brigades, okay, let's go for backhand blow. Have to get some new Corvette designs. See, switch up to this. We're gonna lose 49 days of production. That's fine. Modern destroyer armament. Destroyer torpedo attack. Depth charges. Naval firepower. Let's just go for that. Now we need to think of what we are going to be doing next. And well, my thought was to continue trying to expand the territory that it would be politically difficult for like England and France and the United States to justify coming to the defense of. So, for example, like Syria, for example, um, it's going to be very hard for the United States to justify coming to the defense of Bashir al-Assad or Hezbollah here in Lebanon or even Saddam Hussein in Iraq. That's all territory we're going to want to absorb that... Um, no one should really try to intervene militarily against us. At least, that's the thought, anyway. Let's see, more tanks. Now, obviously, trying to attack a NATO member is probably not a good idea. Also, pushing into Europe at this point would probably be a little, a little risky. So yeah, so I'm thinking is we're probably gonna do Syria, Lebanon, Iraq, and eventually we're gonna to need to get Egypt. Kind of start establishing some presence here. Israel is guaranteed by the United States, so go in there is not a good idea. Jordan. Our monarchist. Pronto, signore. Uh, oh, more paratroopers. Sign them. Avanzate. Pronto, signore. All right, so if that's what the plan is, maybe we should try to start looking into invasions over here. I don't. I think it's too far away to do a pair drop. I hit Beirut. Go straight after Syria itself. Si, signore. Let's see. You probably want to come in here. Is it even possible to put planes? 
No, they're too far away. Let's see, what about this? If I move them here, and then tried to put them there. No, still too far away. Does Siri even have an Air Force? It says they have 500 planes. Fourteen mountain infantry. So we could land there. I mean, do they even have any airfields? They probably do, but we actually apparently can't see them. We'd have to capture a local airfield and then move our planes in. Not impossible. Now what kind of army do they have? 21 divisions. Hmm. That's doable. Alright, let's go ahead and start justifying. We need one more political power. There we go. Improve relations with Burkina Faso. And Gambia. Alright, some more unassigned divisions in the Marines. Go ahead and put them on that, uh, that naval invasion. Let's actually move this army down here to Tobruk. Working on the artillery. Now, one thing we are going to want to start doing is improving infrastructure. Like this, I think. We're also going to need to improve the port. Here as well. But eventually we're going to want to use Libya, the former Libya, it's a front against Egypt. Take out Mubarak. Egypt is guaranteeing the independence of Somalia. I'm not worried about that. Alright, let's see. So we took towards monarchy, so that means that we can take the new Roman Senate. Policy will change. House of the Way becomes the ruling party. Local elections will not be held. Change in population of monarch is 50%. Gets the Roman Empire is back. Alright. That is what we want. 
still need three tungsten. I will be taking care of that momentarily. Ordini. Slovenia. Social liberals. Boost party popularity. No, nah, I don't necessarily need to do that. We could really easily run over Slovenia. They're not a NATO member. Hmm. Should we start trying to absorb the Balkans? It could be a plan. Uh, motorized rock artillery, we're going to need that. Right, let's do this. Let's move you guys off the Swiss border. Let's put you on the Slovenian border. Create another fleet of submarines, I think. Fifteen subs. I'll go with you. Let's give you patrol orders. Mediterranean there. So we're expanding our motorized rocket artillery production. Because we're using those motorized rocket artillery Pronto for finger. our mechanized brigades. We do have a little bit of... Uh, we are now part of the Security Council. Our delegation has been elected to the United Nations Security Council as one of the representative nations of our region. We can now veto Security Council decisions. Gains non-permanent UNSC member, which grants daily political power gain plus 0.1 for 730 days. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. They have field hospital. Support artillery we probably don't really need, since we actually have the motorized rockets. Let's give them logistics company. Let's do that, and support anti-air we could use. Signal companies, recon company. Let's do a recon company. And let's give you guys a logistics company. Let's do that. Uh, we're going to be short support equipment. Now we've added all those support brigades. Possibly. Available planes in reserve. Oh, 
Okay, at least we have extra planes. That's fine. Basic 3D manufacturing. You see, if we were to justify a war goal against Slovenia, it would take 320 days. I'm gonna actually hold off on that for a second. Uh, hold on. What do we want to do? Let's work on my decryption. Because we're going to have to make a decision soon on whether we're going to go Divided Imperia or Federation of Romans. So we'll create a faction here, the Roman Federation, and then try to invite people to the faction. France, Switzerland, Belgium, Luxembourg, Monaco, United Kingdom, Spain, Portugal. Uh, probably a lot of these are not going to. If we do it this way. Or we could take it where we gain uh, war goals. I wonder if those are permanent war goals. So we don't have to actually do justifications. We could just say, you know, it's ours, we, we take it. Hmm. Uh, 28th of September, 20, 2007 is when that justification is going to be done. Let's see, do we know what the U.S. is up to? Drone program. Still working on their military stuff. Got a new carrier. Okay, so we are ready to launch the invasion. So we're short rubber. Well, we're currently working on building the infrastructure in Libya. Ah, uh, the new Roman Empire. Okay. It sounds like a writing prompt, but is re but it is reality. Earlier today, fascist. Oh, I guess we're not fascists. Broken the parliament, declared that the republic was over. Well, this is kind of obsolete now. Now, do we actually... Apparently our flag has changed. Stop to mass migration. It's our duty to preserve our superior culture. Um, okay, so we finally we put an end to the illegal immigration from Africa. All right. Uh, let's see. I want to put off this decision just yet. Uh, let's go ahead and just work on submarine focus for now. 
We're going to hold off on making that decision, because I'd like to get some feedback on that. Um, let's see. We need to work on doctrines. Or do I? Oh yeah, because we need to get down to this for the Naval Doctrine stuff. Um, let's work on the Air Doctrines then. So I guess they didn't write that event or didn't write multiple versions of it, depending whether or not you're coming at it from the monarchist side or the fascist side. So maybe that's something they'll get around to at some point. Again, it's still an in-development mod, so you know we kind of expect stuff like that. It won't be quite right. I am leaning towards the military option to actually aggressively absorb everybody directly rather than creating a, a federation of a faction that everybody then joins. Um, I think that makes it, it feels more like an empire to me. Now, dealing with the NATO. The NATO countries is going to be interesting. We'll have to see if we can't find a way to disrupt the NATO alliance. That's kind of what I'm thinking. There may be a way to do that. Alright, well, I think we are actually at the end of the episode here, because we're at the 30 minute mark, so we'll go ahead and end it here. Uh, we'll see. We've got a little bit to go before this justification is finished. And then we'll launch our invasion of Syria. And we'll probably just wheel around and take out Lebanon. And then maybe go after Iraq. Kind of get this whole region, because we will get tons of oil. I mean, tons of oil. So, I think that's the plan. Are we actually now getting... From trade is three. You'd think that we would be exporting a lot of oil. Well, we have a 64 oil available for export, but nobody is actually buying it. Okay. Interesting. Alright, yeah, as I said, we'll go ahead and end the episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.